Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn class 9 science chapter 5 the fundamental unit of life part 2. In this video we will learn different shapes of cells, types of organisms, how do living organisms perform the basic functions, structure of bacteria and difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So here we start with the shape of cells. Different cells have different shapes. The shape of a cell is related to the specific function it performs. For example, cells like amoeba change their shape for motility, whereas cells like nerve cells have fixed shape that shoots their function of transmitting nerve impulses. So, as the nerve cell has to transmit the nerve impulse, its shape is fixed, whereas amoeba has to perform different functions. That's why amoeba can change its shape. The next is types of cells or types of organisms. Types of organisms basis on the number of cells. Means either the organism has one cell present in it or more than one cells present in it on the basis of that organisms are divided into unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Development of microscope led to the discovery of single and multiple celled organisms. Organisms like amoeba, chlamydomonas, paramecium, bacteria have single cell which constitute the whole organism. These organisms are called unicellular organisms. On the other hand, organisms like fungi, plants and animals have multiple cells grouped together to form tissues. These organisms are called multicellular organisms. So, on the basis of the numbers, there are two types of cells or two types of organisms. One is unicellular organisms and second is multicellular organisms. Uni means one. The organisms which has only one cell, whereas multi means many. The organism which have many cells. The next is, do you know how do living organisms perform their body functions? Living organisms perform their body function through division of labor between different organs. Different cells have different jobs allotted to them. For example, in unicellular organism, one cell is carried out all of its function. Here see the example of amoeba. Amoeba is a single cell organism which is responsible for movement, intake of food, exchange of gases and excretion. Here in the slide you can see that a single celled amoeba is create pseudopodia for intaking of that food, digestion, absorption of the nutrient and finally the ejection. Means all of this processes is done by a single cell only in amoeba. On the other hand, different organs perform different functions in multicellular organisms. For example, the human body has heart to pump the blood, a stomach to digest food, and kidneys to excrete 
waste. Living organisms are also classified as prokaryotes and eukaryotes based on the organization of cellular structure. On the basis of that cellular structure, they are further classified as prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now, what are prokaryotes? Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms that do not have nuclear membrane and membrane-bound organelles. Nuclear membrane means that genetic material or that nuclear material is freely movable inside the cell. It is not bounded with a particular wall or particular membrane. So, for example, bacteria and archaea. Whereas, eukaryotes are characterized by membrane-bound nucleus and organelles, that their nucleus is bounded by a particular membrane, a particular wall, whereas their organelles are also membrane bounded. Eukaryotes are of two types, unicellular and multicellular. Eukaryotes like Trypanosoma, Eugelina and Paramecium are unicellular eukaryotes, whereas fungi, plants, and animals are multicellular eukaryotes. Now we will move up to the structure of bacteria. Bacteria is a prokaryotic organism. The first part of the bacteria we will learn is its cell wall. Cell wall is a non-living layer composed of polysaccharides and protein. The next is plasma membrane. You can see the red line boundary which is called as plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is living membrane. Cell wall is non-living whereas plasma membrane is living membrane made up of lipids. It is selectively permeable, hence it transports ions, nutrients and waste across the membrane. The third part in the bacteria is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is clear, thick, jelly-like material that forms the seed for all the cell functions. Cytoplasm also contains nucleoid, flagella and ribosomes. Nucleoid is a single large circular DNA molecule confined to central region of the cell and it regulates all cell functions. Flagella are appendages responsible for motility. Now, we'll see the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In prokaryotic organism, DNA is not bounded by membrane, which is called as nucleoid. Whereas, in eukaryotic organism, DNA is bounded by nuclear membrane. Second difference in prokaryotic organism have single circular DNA whereas eukaryotic organism has DNA in paired chromosomes. Third difference, prokaryotes do not have vacuoles whereas eukaryotes have vacuoles.